Uh, on behalf of Mr. Nganga, I'm going to request Reverend Murada to come. Yeah. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and praise the Lord. My name is Reverend Mogo Murada, the Director of Missions in the Anglican Church of Kenya in the Diocese of Motika, Kenya South. And Nganga has requested me to read his tribute. There was uh, something that was, that was to be run through the PowerPoint. I don't know whether they are ready or not, Cyrus. Or we continue with the tribute. OK. Before I read, there are some things that Nganga had requested me to mention about his family and about their philanthropic um, issues. They have been giving out very close to various churches. This year alone, our church in the Anglican Church of Kenya, the Diocese of Mount Kenya South, we have received four vehicles from Nganga. Rigi G has mentioned about the bus that was also donated by Nganga to Mehote PCEA. And there is also two more that he has promised to give to the church. Kabete is receiving one, and the Directorate of Missions is also receiving one. So Nganga has given out more than 10 vehicles this year alone. During COVID, Nganga contributed a lot of foodstuffs in Wangige, and Wangige people can attest to that. Together with his late wife, Lucy, they have been visiting several, several orphanages, Akagora Moturo in Imana Irio, and delivered them there, and we can see a Cornelius in Nganga's life. So may the Lord bless you, Nganga. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord continue blessing the work of your hand. Nganga has also been paying school fees and college to the needy students around here in Wangige and also outside here. Churches have also benefited from Nganga. And during the committee, when we were preparing and organizing for this funeral, someone mentioned that the money that will remain as a balance will be shared by the children. But Nganga said, no, whatever will remain here will be, distributed, will be distributed to the churches around here in Kabete. So Nganga's heart is a heart that gives. And the hand that stretches to give, it is the same hand that receives. Nganga, may the Lord continue blessing you. Allow me to read his tribute. I'm standing here on his behalf. I stand here mourning the loss of my dear wife of 24 years, one boy. I will dearly miss you. It is interesting how the many years we had together just went by you were my everything, my dear wife, my business partner, and my confidant. We did seasons together from when we met, we started growing from being just the two of us, but also blessed with our four lovely children. Look at our business today. We've, gone, we've grown it together. Thank you for everything, Lucy. You have always been to us. The way you cared for me and the children, everyone around us, family and non-family, always making sure everyone around us was okay. The various charities you were involved in visiting, the children's homes, and helping the needy children, sponsoring several of them through school and school fee payment. I have so many memories that are printed in my memory. We've traveled to various places, both locally and inter internationally, with you and the children, doing a mix of fun and business. You've been a pillar in our home. We will miss you, Lucy, so much, my dear, and we will forever cherish our memories together. Rest with angels and may perpetual light shine on your soul till we meet again. I will be seeing you, Wamboi, in the house. Your loving husband, Francis Nganga Mundia. I thank you. Thank you, Reverend Haron Murada. Uh, and now I'm going to be requesting Brian to take uh, the mic now and share his tribute. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, God is good. I know the time. Um, oh. Today we gather here with heavy hearts to remember a woman who gave everything of herself to her family, who filled our lives with love, warmth, and endless 